Who is your favorite YouTuber? What is your favorite Snapchat filter? Who do you think is better, Steph Curry or LeBron James? What do all of these questions have in common? I'm Esther Beasley, and this is Sunday School Solutions. When working with kids, relationships are everything. Kids will love learning about Jesus once they love you. One of the best things you can do as a teacher is get to know the kids in your classroom. First step is getting to know your kids by asking questions. In order to know your kids, you have to talk with them. In order to get kids talking, you have to ask questions. Simple, fun questions that help you know about your kids. Try the three question approach. Before you get to the church, know what three questions you are going to ask your small group that day. Why three? If your questions are the right type, it only takes about three to get that group of kids talking. Once the kids get talking, most likely you discovered what they love. Number two, talk less and listen more. Sometimes we tend to teach at kids so much. Save their attention for the lesson time. Use small group time, games, and hangout times as key relationship building moments. Ask questions and let the kids answer. Follow up with their answers with questions that build upon what they say until you get to a place where they're talking and you're listening. For example, if your first question is, what is your favorite thing to do in your free time? And the kids say, play video games. Follow that up with, what is your favorite video game? If the child responds, Fortnite, ask, what do you have to do to win that game? I'm pretty sure by the time he or she is done telling you, it will be time for the next part of class. But if you never heard of Fortnite, you might want to look it up, which is step three in getting kids to talk. Do your research. In order to know your kids well, you might have to do some research. What do kids these days actually like? Next time you walk through Walmart or Target, notice the end aisles. Trendy games, toys, or celebrities are normally all over. Why? Because kids love them. Notice what you see and Google it. Incorporate something that you see into a question. Like, what is your favorite game to play on the new Nintendo Switch? What is your favorite form of social media? What is your favorite part of Incredibles 2? Questions like these are a lot more exciting and relevant than what did you eat for breakfast? On the blog post, you will see a list of 56 questions you can ask the kids. Number four, follow up. Although you might only serve on your kid's team once a month, follow up on the questions you ask. Did you ever beat that level on Fortnite? Have you had your first basketball game? How long is your Snapchat streak? Although you might not be overly knowledgeable with current childhood trends, in order to build the relationship, you just need to know enough to ask a question, listen to their response, do a little research, and follow up with their answer the next time you serve. Make sure you visit our website for even more great ideas.